Suresh was a man who was intrigued by the stock market's compounding power. He frequently trades but could not devote his full time to this endeavor because it was not his regular day job. He wishes to trade in a manner that is both time efficient and automated. However, he isn't really keen on the algorithmic trading and is seeking something more straightforward. He conducts an online search and learns about bracket order. So, what is bracket order in the stock market and how does a bracket order work? What are the different types of trades Suresh can take with bracket order? Well, let's find out. Hello everybody, I am Vaishnavi and welcome to Allies Blue Online. In this video, we are going to learn all about bracket order. A bracket order is when you place a new trade along with an exit and a stop loss order. Once your main order gets placed and executed fully, the system places two more orders, namely the trigger order for booking the profit and a stop loss order. It creates a kind of a bracket of three orders and thus the name. When the profit taking order or the stop loss order is hit, the trade is over. It makes trading in general happen automatically. These kind of orders are good for intraday trading. If your order doesn't get filled, it's automatically cancelled before the market closes. Now. How does a bracket order work? You can place a bracket order with a market order or a limit order along with a stop loss and a trigger price. Bracket orders can be placed for NSE equity cash and futures and options segments, NSE forex futures and options and commodity futures and options. This is not available for Bombay Stock Exchange that is BSE. Instead of using a normal stop loss order, you can also use a trailing stop loss order which moves your stop loss price up or down if the market moves by a certain value. It makes sure that your bracket order does not get executed prematurely. However, when using a trailing stop loss, you will not be able to edit your bracket order. Using a bracket order reduces your risk as it has a stop loss order placed and therefore lessens the bracket order margin requirements. That in turn increases the leverage you can have on such orders just like cover orders. Now let's find out what is a buy bracket order and a short bracket order. A buy bracket order is when you place a buy market or limit order with a trigger sell and a stop loss order. A short bracket order is when you place a sell market or limit order with a trigger buy and a stop loss order. Let's simplify it with examples. Imagine that you want to place a buy bracket order of 100 Axis Bank shares which is trading at Rs 718.75. You are placing in a market bracket order, so your order will get executed at this market rate. Along with that, you place a stop loss at Rs 700 and a target order at Rs 740. So now, if your target price of Rs 740 is achieved, your order will get executed. The other option is that it would get executed if the stop loss hits. With this order, your profit would be Rs 2125, while the stop loss would limit your losses to Rs 1875 in case the price falls below 700. Let us take an example for short bracket order. Imagine that you're planning to short 150 SPI shares at the market rate of Rs 367.10. You place a stop loss order at Rs 378 and the target order at Rs 350. In case it hits your target price of Rs 350, you will gain a profit of Rs 2565. But if the market goes in the opposite direction of your trade, the stop loss order minimizes your loss. The loss would be capped at a maximum of Rs 1635. For a bracket order, there are three main orders that get placed and two of them get executed to close the position. Buy or sell order, trigger order, stop loss order. Now, what is market bracket order? The above examples are of market bracket order. In a market bracket order, the initial buy or sell order gets placed at the current market rate. It helps the main trade to get executed faster. When a market order is placed with trigger order and a stop loss, it becomes a bracket order. Now, what is a limit bracket order? In a limit bracket order, you enter the price at which you would like your main order to get executed. That is your desired price and you might have to wait to get it. There is also a probability that if the desired price does not hit, your trade may not get executed at all. For example, like we talked about the SBI sell bracket order, if you have chosen a limit order of Rs 370, the order would get placed only when the price reaches Rs 370 or more. It becomes a limit bracket order when such orders are placed with a trigger order and a stop loss. Now let's talk about the advantages of bracket order. Placing a bracket order has three important advantages. First is that it reduces risk. 
When you place a bracket order, you also place a stop loss order and that limits your losses to a certain amount. This reduces your overall risk profile. Next is that it has less margin requirement. As a stop loss order is in place, it gives a sense of security to the broker leading to lesser margin requirements and more leverage in your pockets. The next one is that it automates your trade. A bracket order involves all the order from the main order to the exit order. Thus, once you place the order, you can focus on other tasks at hand. If you have placed a trailing stop loss, you don't need to modify your stop loss frequently and that saves you time. With advantages also come a few disadvantages. Everything has pros and cons and the same goes with bracket order. The first con here is that you cannot cancel the stop loss order in bracket order, but just like a cover order, you can modify it. If your trigger price or stop loss is not reached, your bracket order will automatically get executed by the system which would result in unexpected gain or loss. Now let's find out how to place a bracket order. These are the steps that would help you to place a bracket order easily. First, choose the stock or FNO of your choice. Select whether you want to buy or sell the stock. Now select MIS which stands for Margin Intraday Square Off. Then select whether you want to place a market order or a limit order. Now select the bracket order or the BO option. Enter the quantity and price in case of limit cover order. Now enter stop loss value or trigger stop loss tick size. Lastly, enter the trigger price at which you would like to pocket the gains and you are done. Now, how do you square off a bracket order? Just like a cover order, there are three ways in which a bracket order can get placed. When your trigger price hits, when your stop loss gets triggered, or if none of these options are attained, the system closes the position before the market closes. Markets have specific timings. NSE Equity and Futures and Options, 3.15 pm. NSE Forex Futures and Options, 4.45 pm. MCX, 11.30 pm. The time again differs from broker to broker. Well, that was everything regarding bracket order. Thank you for watching. For more such informative videos, make sure that you are subscribed to Allies Blue Online. This is Vaishnavi signing off. I will see you in the next video. Investment in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.